Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel. We're discussing Mandela effects and the like. Thanks for joining me today as we uncover the mysteries of the Mandela effect itself and find out the true meaning of it all. We must discover what is really happening, what is really going on here, to change these things that we know and hold dear to us. And let us help others discover the meaning of the Mandela effect and how it affects them and the price of milk. Thank you. And be sure to hit the like and subscribe down below. Hey guys, good evening. We're joined with Sandy, Diva, and we're doing with Teresa Lynch. Hey guys, what's going on hey. out there? Good evening, everyone. How is everyone tonight? We're doing a premiere for so another live chat. Yes. What do we have in store for our audience tonight? Well, we have a lot of things, actually. And we're actually going to start with Teresa on this one. Teresa, oh, why don't you tell us good. about your brand new book with the Mona Lisa? Yeah. Um, how I discovered it, real quick, I'll try not to make my stories too long. Uh -huh, that's funny. I went to um, my library earlier today to return and get some DVD. Went into the bookstore, started looking around like I normally do, and I came across this really old book from 1966, Time Life, and I was looking, it's like a Leonardo um, book all about his paintings and everything. Opened it up, went to the Mona Lisa, and there it was, right on the eye there, and I was like, okay. <laughs> then I presented it to um, Sandy and Brian with this wart, which mm. reminds me also of the wart on the... Mount Rushmore. Also. <laughs> yes. Oh, what do you it, think? I, I agree. It looks just like the wart that's on George Washington on Mount Rushmore that was not there before. Brian, if yeah. you want to go to the uh, album, it's, it er, again, everything's under three slash nine live to make life easier on you. Mona Lisa wart. Yep. yep. The Mona Stop Lisa me, guys. a wart. Uh, just okay, more warts. <laughs> Is it an actual wart? It, it it looks like it. It looks just like the, it looks just like George Washington. Is it in yeah. the same place? Can we compare? It's right here on the nose. Right in the, You hit it right on the nose, Sandy. <laughs> well, no, Teresa did. Teresa did, yeah. And and as a girl, I would say that's where you put your inner corner highlight <laughs> <laughs> for makeup. <Yeah. laughs> well, that's that's interesting. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't remember. No, this is. It's pretty noticeable. Very noticeable. It's like she's turned, uh, you know, um, Indone Indonesian maybe or something like that. Or um, there, no. And you know who else has a wart? Ulysses S. Grant has a wart. Dollar bill. Grant does too. Yeah, you didn't know that. Oh, that's right. Esther found that one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, Esther found that one. All right, so what's uh, that's interesting. So what's what's next? Next on the list, uh, look for the folder, the uh, Night of the Living Dead. All right. And while you're doing that, we're going to ask the future chat. Do you remember Night of the Living Dead or the Night of the Living Dead? Because I remember the Night of the Living Dead, and now it's just Night of the Living Dead. But I have a lot of residue in that folder, Brian. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh, the, I see you and me. Hang on. <laughs> Night of the Living Dead. Yep. Remember, everything's under three slash nine. Yes, I see it. I can. I can search it. Yep. Not to mention the Iron Maiden one looks. That's in there, yeah. Yeah. Did you see the lettering on that? The logo of Iron Maiden? Yeah. It looks weird. Yeah, it does. I All saw right. that the other day, Brian. I just didn't mention it. So, what was it for you guys? Was it the Night of the Living Dead or Night of the Living Dead? Go ahead and was... post in the comments below. Yeah. So that way we have a clear idea if this is an effect or not. Um, I remember... Was... What? No, no. What were you going to say, Brian? Go ahead. 
No, I, I remember Night of the Living Dead. Is, is What is it now? It is Night of the Living Dead. I remember the Night of the Living Dead. Whoa, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And so that's the residue. The residue is all confirming the Night, the of, the night of the Living Dead. Tons of good residue, right? Andy, I've got some good stuff with you. Remember the yeah. one yeah. the movie theater? Yes, we oh did. Yeah, I'm on the opposite side of the fence on this one. Uh -oh. The Night that's of the Living Dead. That's okay. It happens. Oh, I mean, that's why we have these talks, you know, and it's mainly to to see if something is in effect or not. Um, I don't the know. The, the residue. For itself, yeah, the residue speaks for itself. You're right. It's yep. uh -huh. the Night of the Living Dead. It's everywhere. Right. Yep. And it's not like they're saying it. In the same, and it's not like they're saying it in the middle of a like, sentence dead. where. You know, it could just be context. This is like titles where it's just The Night of the Living Dead. The night of, all these say The Night of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I don't know, man. Like I said, you I mean, just you know, It took me a while to see Berenstein. Uh, I remember Berenstein now, but it's like uh, when I read the, the stories to my kids, it seemed like it was, it was Berenstein. I didn't know the difference until I learned. Uh, that's and that's when I'd say you you either took the update or it was or you saw it so much that you just accepted it as well, fact. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With, the, with with that effect, with specifically Berenstein Bears, you saw it so much as Berenstein, your brain just accepted it as fact. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> the Living Dead. There's a lot of residue. There is. That is what I remember. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, you're presenting. Just kind of flipping through. All these say the night of the living dead. All right, so we're d we're done. Next effect. One. Go ahead and um, post we're below in the comments if you remember the night of the living dead or night of the living dead. And so what, what do we have next, guys? Next, we're going to knock out a lot at once. You ready? You're going to find a folder called 3 slash 9 live logos and residue. And it's a whole list of, of logo moly. changes. What? Mm -hmm. there's, like, there's like 30 different things in that exchange. Holy moly. Now, who found these? Just random people? No, it's or me I'll... and Teresa. Just you back and Teresa and Yeah. So, if... Uh, so Virtua is a local thing. Um, I don't know if it's just New Jersey and PA, but the Express is merged. Um, e and the X is merged and the R and the T. The Did R you see the R and the T? And, and that first image is how I remember it, where it's not connected. Okay, that one? Yep. I would click on each image and go so that it's you're not overwhelming people with different stuff. So that's what I remember. And if you scroll, the EX is merged. The RT is merged. RT is merged. Yeah, um, Pez. Okay, Felix the cat. The the if you just the is 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 crooked now. The whole word cat is merged. The e and the f is merged. It just looks weird to me. I used to love Fe my dad's favorite cartoon character from his childhood was Felix the cat. So we had a lot of Felix the cat stuff growing up. And um, I know it's older. A lot of people won't won't know who that is, but. That whole thing looks wrong to me. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, it's, it looks wrong. I mean, the E's also slanted, too, pointing yeah. upward. Yeah. Pat Sullivan cartoon. Virtua. Pez, I don't remember that extra block before P, the P. No, no, no. That was not there. That's That's changed for me. Yeah, there should be an image there without the circle so people can see it better. We'll get to Hold it. On. All right, so punch out. Do you remember two exclamation points at the end? I only remember one. I remember one. And there's a dash. I don't remember the dash. No, the dash wasn't there. Yeah. Is this, this is Mike old... Tyson's Mike yeah. Tyson punch that, out? Yes, and that's an old sign from... Um, Hang from, on, let's look at that real Mortal Kombat is... I'm curious. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, that was a sign from a an arcade. Yeah, not to mention... Hang on a second here. The P is open, too. Yeah, the P is broken. You're right. Punch out. Mike Tyson's punch out. Yeah, I don't remember two exclamation marks. That's weird. Two exclamation marks, two dash, a dash. World combat is merged, if you zoom in. The letters are merging. Which ones? I'd have to, I, I need Actually, you to zoom in. Yeah, the A and the L. The B, A, and T, I think, are merged in combat. It might even be the M, B, A, and T. The one that kind of stands out for me is the R is broken. Yeah. Uh, okay. Briars, the old logo. I don't remember that little dip, that V formation. Yeah, I don't remember the B, the v either. What? That's the old logo. The new one doesn't have it. Okay. But the old logo is the logo I remember seeing most in my, growing up. And I don't remember that little V going on. Okay, so so this V is new now? Yeah, for me it is. I don't know. Maybe the chat can clear this up. No, it looks... See, now, now it looks like a freaking sports team. Yeah. Well, now it's completely different. You'd have to look at Briar's 80s logo. Oh, no, there it is, too. Look. Yeah, the V is there. What? That wasn't there. Teresa and I looked up the new logo, and it didn't look like that. 1915. Up until now, it has that... Well... Actually, yeah, up, up until 2013, so they hit it. It's like they hit it from yeah. our... Yep. Yeah. No, no, no. That V was not there. Okay, good catch, guys. Briars is new since 19, yeah. 19, 1915 to 2013. Yeah, Since I don't remember it. 2013 to present, there's none. It's normal. No, so let's go ahead and trace this real quick. It's going to be real brief. And they kind of make a six right here, sort of. I don't know. It seems to be... I see a 13. Wow. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, so then it V's over here. Now, the E and the Y is connected, uh, and the ERS is connected, but it's mainly because it's, it's script. It's, it's cursive. It's cursive, yeah. But I kind of remember the B and R connected. Notice how the B and the R is broken. Correct. I do, too. Yeah, so anyways, so let me, let me let me just rush this along. Real RT. Okay. What's next? Just keep going. You're just going to keep going through that folder. Get them all knocked out. Good, good catch on Briars, by the way. Thank you. Benetton. Oh, my God. This one's huge for me. The half the T's. The T's half are cut tees. off. The T's are too, too tall. The B is too tall. The E's are slanted. The whole thing is messed up. Uh, my favorite perfume, for, like, throughout the whole 90s was Colors de Benetton. I used to see this logo every day when I put it on for high school. And that is not what the logo looked like. The T's and the B were not that tall. The T's weren't cut off. The E's weren't, weren't slanted. That whole thing is wrong. Which, which perfume? Dang. The ends don't have any back. It's just like a, an upside down U. The whole yeah. thing's wrong. All right, what's up with Beastie Boys? Oh, my God. Same goodness. thing. Look at the logo. That's an old album. Look at the logo. The, the T's oh. cut off. The, e, the A and the S is merged. A and the, the S is merged. The B is broken. Everything's merged. The E's are slanted. Everything's wrong. Okay. Yeah, that's wrong. The A and the S was never merged. Nope. I had this album. That's why I... I focused on that one it's they're not beastie boys is merged everywhere it's just this album changed for me i know we talked about that too um so this is just this album yeah that's weird we talked about the this the sign on the uh uh you know the beastie boys had this emblem that was residue for volkswagen and now that's changed yep if you zoom in on the pez you'll be able to see that thing sticking out here yeah, Pez has that little hook thing. I don't remember that. Uh, I don't remember that either. Yep, there it is. Yeah, without the circles, so people could see it better. Yep, you can see that now. Pez has this extra Pez candy on there now. 
Uh, it's just me Tropicana. circling it. Yeah, Tropicana. Tropicana. Do you remember the leaf on top? Uh, I don't know. That one's kind of tricky for me, but the T wasn't bent. Now the T has a bend in it. And the A is another leaf. But but here's the thing, Ryan. That leaf is go to Logopedia Logopedia and look at Tropicana. How long it's been there. That's why it's an effect for me. Logopedia is one of those. Of oh, everyone, okay. So apparently they added the leaf in 1992, uh -huh. and actually 1998 to present, it's always had the leaf. Yeah, and I don't remember uh, going back to 92. Not at all. That's weird. Okay, and it, I guess they're trying to make it look like an orange. Uh, right, but see, it was an orange above the eye before 92. Mm-hmm. That doesn't make sense. Okay, what's uh, what's? Let's see what the next one is. Yeah, yeah. There's probably yeah. a PDA. Oh, Blue, Teresa found this one. Bluebell ice cream. The A and the M is merged. A and the M merge. Mm -hmm. Which one is this one? Blue yeah. Bell. Teresa, if are, if you're in Hangouts, if you click on Brian's uh, logo, you'll see the screen. No, I'm not in the Hangouts. I'm on his calling phone. Oh, okay. Okay, Brian. This is this is neat. I'm in the ether again. All right, more, if you scroll down to the bottom first. It says more, mo more people use more tons, not Morton salt. You see Morton's at the bottom? Yeah, Morton, but, Morton salt. And then if you scroll up, on the, on the actual salt, it's a yellow umbrella, but she's got a black umbrella, like I remember. I remember her having, like, blue hair. I thought she had, like, blue hair. Blue, oh. Like, blue-black hair. Is what she had. I remember dark hair too. Yes. And now she the got hair flip flops hair. a lot, but the, the the umbrella was black, not yellow for me. All right. Dole. And now other people have been bringing this up, but I found this on my own. But they just brought it up right. on Scarab's channel. I don't remember the O sliding down like that, and the whole no. logo was merged. D O L E is all merged. No, no, no. That was not merged like that. No, and the L is like cut off on the right and on the upper left. Yeah, and the O is falling down. Yeah, yeah, that's like the sun. Maybe this it's an indication of the sun being lower, maybe. So that's the change Here's there. One. Changes. Are you tracing it? Yeah, tracing it. Okay. All right, what's next? I don't know. We have to hit next. Oh, it's more dull. <laughs> Just keep it next to you, find new stuff. Tropicana. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of Tropicana. I was getting all the... Oh, DreamWorks. Okay, so the next image of DreamWorks is me circling. It is so merged, it's not even funny. The D, the R, the R, the E, the E, the A, the A, the M. No, the A and M are separate. It's right. super merged. The M wow. and the W, the W and the O, the O, the R. That looks weird. It's all merged. Cap and Crunch. Oh, th did you know he was a commander, not a captain? No. <laughs> That's just a little side note thing. Like he's, he's a commander, not a captain. That's all. Maybe that's why they called him Captain. <laughs> Maybe. No, Captain Crunch, because he's got a he's got loaded cereal. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh man, he's gonna bust a cap. <laughs> All the merges, I see that. Yeah, there's a lot. Captain, uh, it was Captain Crunch. Yeah, that's the re that's the residue I found of of Toucan Sam and Captain Crunch. It actually we'll said Captain Crunch, right? Yeah, there. we'll get we'll get to Toucan Sam later. Oh yeah, yeah, Toucan Sam. We're not mentioning that. That's the last effect that we're going to talk about. <laughs> we can't talk about that one now, right, Sandy? Right. Wait, hold so on. Kia Sportage is merged. The O and the R are completely merged. The P is open. That looks wrong to me. That reminds me of the uh, uh, what's another Kia? Um, I know the other one. Uh, the other one. one. The it's Kia. Like I just found it too. I don't remember what it is.
HBO. Okay, so yeah. HBO, hold on. Zoom into HBO. The B and the O is merged. Yeah. But there's logos coming up of HBO that I've I had HBO since it practically came out. And there's gonna be logos that I don't remember at all. Like no. the O on top of the B. I don't no, remember. No, we never that. like that. No. There's Captain a more Captain Crunch. Crunch residue. Captain Crunch. Look at that. No, it was not like that for me. No. I mean, these are old logos, but oh, here's uh, Chris. From, there's some uh, hey, Chris baby. From a rose on the grave for you. I can pay you to a kiss from a rose on the grave. Yep. Now it's gray. And now it's gray. It was not gray. HBO. No, I say it's now gray. It doesn't say gray. Kiss by a rose on the grave. Now that HBO is residue. Do you see that? How they're next to each other and the O's not on top. Yeah, the. It's that's the residue of what are now the the B oh that's not no that's on top no yeah, that residue on top. there is an image that's residue oh Night Riders all merged the G and the H the G and the H uh, the E and the, e and the R. R I think Teresa found that one Briar uh, here, there's more Briars showing the V what does that mean though because Briars I don't remember that like that yep. Oh, this is okay, guys. This is my nephew's um, act in the in the uh, town show at school. You can't see him; he's in the drums. There might be a picture of him in the background in the drums. But Buddy Holly residue—that's he's. They're singing the OU song, and he's in the front with with gla the dark glasses on. That's one of his classmates. Yeah, didn't they have like a Weezer song based on that or something? Yes, and that's that's what they're performing. And um, he's wearing the black glasses. That's the problem with just throwing stuff into the folder. Everything's spread out all over the place. Oh, no. And now they're not dark glasses now. You see? The glasses are gone. They were imitating the video. Right. Wow. You, see, you see the Weezer video? That's what they were doing. And they have glasses on them, whereas the video, they're gone. So That's if you go crazy. back, yeah, you go, yeah. If you go back to the town show, you'll see they're all set up like that. The three kids in the front. He's mm -hmm. got the glasses on there now. Missing. My, like I said, my nephew's in the back on the drums. I think he's in another picture inside that folder. Okay. But Miramax is mer merged. The R, the A, the M, the A, the X. Ramix is merged now. There's more images of the town show. Yankees? Yeah, look at that logo. Do you remember that with the triangles in the A no, and the E? I don't remember that. I, I guess look. I want just wanted to ask the chat if they remember that. Those triangles in Yankees. That's it's only about the logo, not the uh, the card itself. Miramax, yeah. yeah that's it's more Miramax. Oh man. It's just showing that throughout the years. So this is how the um, the the emblem is now without the stars. Somewhere in this folder, I have residue of the stars. There's a like a door knocker. You'll see it when we get to it. So the stars are missing off the blue yeah, shield. The, the blue yeah, shield. If, if you zoom in, this is a scratch off in Philly right now. There's double. It's double dollar sign. It's, like I said, this is just random residue. If you scroll down, one of the images on the bottom. Is a yeah. dollar do dollar double sign with the lines, two lines. Oh, wait, they're hard to see. I know. My gosh. Viacom. What? No. Viacom has the, uh, the, 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 the V, upside down V. No. Vi Viacom. No. Yep. The V's on this. Did you find that or did it's I see it? I can't remember. I did, Teresa. Viacom okay. was responsible for a lot of cartoons in the 80s. Yeah, that's that's where that, that screenshot is from. Mr. E.T. This right? is, oh, this is residue for you. I pity the fool who doesn't phone home. So it's like double residue for you. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Not Teresa well, found that shirt. That's a good one. Great, great job oh. with that one. Walt, Walt Disney is now merged, the W and the A. No. 
They just added a line <laughs> in between the two. Hang on, man. I don't believe this. I guess they are, the chat. Do you guys remember the WNA being connected like nah, that? No, the WNA were not connected. Now they are. I don't remember it like that. No. Good find. Pan Am. Yeah, Pan Am is merged. The P, the A, the N. And the A and the N are sharing the same stick on the, le on the left side. And the A and the M are sharing the same space on the right side. Maybe it's some somebody's changing fonts in the past or something. Here's some residue for you if you zoom in of the stars on top. But the, the door knocker is the best residue because it's got the eagle too. All right. We'll Bike get to club. it. Yeah, Bike, Bike club. club. Look at the logo. Yeah, it's all merged. We, oh, talk, we talked yeah. about this one before actually. I know, but I don't remember. Was the B like that when you talked about it last time? The U and the B? Yeah, the U and the B is all messed up. No, that's wrong. That whole Fight Club thing is all merged. Yeah. The T, also, the, the H, the G, and the U, and the I, the L, and the Stay F. there. Stay there. No, zoom back in. Do you remember that? Mischief, Mayhem, and Soap? No. I don't remember that either. That's why I wanted to ask you. It has to, it has to do with their whole font styles changing. Yeah. I think. Whoa, Twilight, what? look at the L. I don't remember Holy that. Crap. It looks like a knife. <laughs> Gosh. Um, okay, so East Saint Laurent. I don't remember all that merging going on. The Y, you gotta zoom in. The Y, the V. It's it's so merged. The Y, the V, the E is merged, the, the uh S and the A is merged, the T, the L is merged, the N the T is merged. Um, the R and the E look like they're about to merge, and then R's the broken. N and the T is merged again. The whole thing is is messed up. Yeah, R is broken. Yeah. All right. That's Star Wars more like how I remember it. The logo. Yeah. Only the S and the T weren't merged before. Yeah, they weren't merged, but there's no... The S's aren't going out. The R isn't going out. It's That looks better. Bambi is merged. The B, the A, the M. Bam. Bam is merged. That's a, that's a disc. Now, this is a clock where the six is the right side up. It's not upside down like it is now. You say it, Brian? Yeah, you're telling me the six is upside down now in clocks? Yeah, you found that last year. Yeah. Or, or even two years ago now, maybe. That's so weird, man. Benetton. There's more Benetton. That's like residue of how I remember Benetton being written. Teenage Teenage Mutant 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 that's merged. So merged. Turtles, Mutant. The whole logo's merged. The R is broken. <laughs> yeah. The, the shining. shining. Do you remember small eyes like that? I want to ask the chat that. Do you remember the small eyes? It I looks don't weird know. to me. I don't remember them being small like that. It doesn't make sense because everything else is capital. Right. It, does, it just doesn't look right. Yeah. They, they got lowercase eyes here. So I wanted to ask the chat if they remember that or if that's just me. So there's the guy wearing the Benetton shirt just so you can see it better. Benetton, yeah. E.T. E.T. Um, someone pointed out that it's residue of um, the, ad, the, the, the painting on the Sistine Chapel reaching up and reaching down instead of being like on the same level. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That could that's residue. Yeah. For the Adam and God. Yes. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's close, close up, up of the merging letters. The A and the T. And there's the punch out, the close up of the, of the double. Like I said, it all goes into the folder just it's just me showing the close up of the merging letters, the A and the L. Merge, the A and the L. Giants. What? Do you remember the G and the I being uh merged like that? No. So, and the N, T, and S is all merged. Yeah, the N, T, S. I got to give credit to uh, um, Vault Team 6 on this one. Vault Team 6 found this one a while back. 
I remember him talking about the NTS. I didn't know if he talked about the G and the I. Do you remember him talking about the G and the I? I don't know, but A N T S. Also, the A is shaped weird here. Look at the and the T. Look at the A and the T. The A's got that little slit at the top, and the T has that little tail. I don't yeah. remember that. I'm just gonna kind of flip through some of these. It was That's just regular. It was That's regular letter. Whoa, there's the spread bagel re, like you were saying. The R and yeah. the E merge. Yeah. R and the E merge again. Yeah, these were all in here, but we talked about yesterday. If you want to just skip through them, it's okay. That's fine. Uh, shaft. shaft. Teresa found this one on both shaft posters, the old and the new. The F to T is merged. Where in the air, it's got a, a chunk taken out of it on the left side. Yep. So it's in there. The new oh. one's in there, too, so you can see it. Oh, what? No. Both yeah, of them. I still have them, Brian. I saw the old one, and then she's like, check the new one. I'm like, okay. Exactly the same effect. Exactly. Yep. F and T merged. F and the T is merged. Yep. It's crazy. I think, I think you're cir – are you circling? Oh, no. Teresa found friskies. The K is shaped weird. The E and the S is merged. The F is shaped weird. I go to Walmart and I look at the logo. Oh <laughs> I think you're circling through again now. Am I? Yeah. It's the same stuff. All right. Okay, so a lot, of, a lot of merging going on. I don't think we're done seeing merging. I think we're gonna get, it's going to get worse. All right, what's next? There were a couple missing. Can you look them up, Brian? Huh? Can you look up mobile gas? There's a dash now. Like go on Google. Wait, where? Go to Google and look up yes. mobile gas. Mobile gas. Yeah. <clears throat> You're not presenting anymore. Right. I'm not present. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. The, the thing about mobile gas that, that I pointed out to many people that I remember there being like a line, like a, a small line above the O. I might remember that too. I'd have to look for residue of that. Yeah, it's a different colored bar though. So whatever color the O is, it's got the opposite color bar on top. But go to the yeah. images. I, I need to see the images because okay. I, I have, you're not. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm presenting, I'm, aren't I? Yeah, zoom in. There's a dash. No, I mean like the I need the gas signs. Yeah, the, the line's gone. The line is, is not has not existed in this timeline. What? All right, I have to find the image that I had. There's a dash. I don't see a dash there. Okay. And then the other thing I need you to look up is um, a star is born. The new poster with uh, Bradley Cooper. Teresa said it's merged. Yeah. You have to Google it. You're Googling the next, the next two things. What am I Googling? A star is born. The new poster. So go to images. No, not the old one. It's on the side there. You see it? The, the gold? Right there. The first one. The poster. That one? Yeah. If you zoom yeah. in, it's, yeah. it's merged, she said. The A and the R? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then the next thing to look up is Celestial Seasonings. Teresa said that's merged too. Celestial Seasonings. What was the last one I sent you? Because I just recently sent you more ARs. Do you remember? No. What do you, where? Yeah, the E, the E, the S, and the T are all merged. Teresa, I'd have to go back like days in my text. That would take a long time. We can always add it later. Um, now you're looking for a folder, Fruit of the Loom. Teresa found new uh, residue. Yes. Yeah. It's a basket. It's a fr This is a, a oh, fruit of the oh. Yeah, but it's in a folder. Will you forward it to me? I can't find it now. That, that, that picture, will you forward it to me? Like yeah. Okay. yeah, I'll send them to you, Teresa. Yeah. But um, it's an official Fruit of the Loom apron, and they have the fruit in a basket. Wow. Yep. Not just fruit on a table. So 
it's interpretive, but it's still Fruit better than nothing, you know? Yeah. Right. Oh, um, there should be the next thing the, after this, look for um, a folder called Fletch, Fletch logo. The movie Fletch. You see it right there? Yep. Fletch. Yep. The logo changed for me um, across the board. If you zoom in, I don't remember the, the logo looking like that at all with the F and the L. No, 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 no. They were regular. The T is shaped weird too. It's got like a little cu like sideways cutouts on the T. If you keep looking, there's different changes though. I keep going through the folder. They look like the F and L emerging. Yeah. But there's more images. It changes there's different changes to the logo. Alright, great. What what else we got? No, keep keep scrolling through the folder. Okay. And zoom in on that one. Like see the T? I don't remember the T like that either. No. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. That wouldn't have been like that. That looks really wrong. Yeah, so the next thing you're going to look up is jewel caterpillars. There's actually, um, this is by Curiouser and Curiouser. There's a folder, jewel caterpillars. Yep, I got it right here. You got to see it? Yeah, they're, they're, they're really pretty. I, I don't know about that nasty stuff that's coming out of the caterpillar, but um, <laughs> they're all different different caterpillars, and, and they're pretty. They're reflective. They're clear. I've never heard of them. And, no, neither. And the caterpillars molt into the COA moth, which there's another folder in the, in the thing, COA moth. That's a good find. Um, Whoa. There, there's a COA moth. They, that's what the jewel caterpillars turn into. Oh man, that's kind of creepy looking. Yeah, and then there's the rosy something moth. I, I can't remember the name. There's another folder that I found that one. So when you're done that one, look for the rosy moth. All right. They're cute. They're actually cute. Yeah, okay. So this is the rosy moth caterpillar. So first, the caterpillar looks like a snake. It's a snake caterpillar. Yeah, that the rosy moth starts out as this caterpillar. They can they can um camouflage themselves as a snake to scare off predators. You see, that's what they look like. And they can make themselves look like a snake. I guess the way they puff out their head, which is just bizarre to me. I've never heard of caterpillars looking that much like a snake. You got to look at the other images, Brian. Okay. You are right there. We're stuck on one image. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. So that's the moth it becomes. There's a whole folder on the moth because they're actually kind of cute. I'm going to show you. But look at, look at that. Look at that. That's the, that is the, the caterpillar. Snake caterpillar. That he turns blows up his face to look like a snake. And then he's also known as the elephant caterpillar because he can do that with his, with his nose. Like that's terrible. I would be scared if I saw that. I would think it's a snake. Uh, I would too. But that's what he looks like when he's not scared. Oh, all right. So, all right, now you're going to look for the rosy moth folder for the actual moth, what he turns into. There you go. It's like, it's, it should, it's to the right, Brian. They're like yellow and pink. Look down. Here? Yeah. yeah. So the rosy maple moth, it's called. Look how tiny they are. And there's such a cute, the next image is so cute. Look at that. Zoom in. Oh, my God. It's like making, like, signs with its hands. <laughs> He's directing traffic for aircraft. Yeah. <laughs> but they are so tiny. Adorable rosy maple moth I took photo of based on the post. I don't know. They're just, they're just cute. They're so tiny. So I just wanted to bring that up. All right. 
add that to the name though. Rosie Maple Moth. I couldn't remember the name of it. All right, what else we got? Next is the um, Lion's Mane Mushroom. And that's also Curiouser and Curiouser. Lion's Mane Mushrooms? Yeah. Apparently people eat these. I've never even heard of them or seen them before. No, I've never seen, never heard about these. What? Yeah, they, they're like hairy. Yeah, who would eat a hairy mushroom? I don't know. There's someone. There's, yeah, there's an image of one on a countertop in a kitchen. Wait till you I, get to, I, it's, it looks like Play-Doh to me. I mean, it looks like something that the Dallas Cowboy uh, cheerleaders would have. Yeah. Well, wait till you see the one in the kitchen. It looks like Play-Doh. That Keep one going. looks like spaghetti. Or spaghetti. Yeah, something like spaghetti. I can see. Look at that. Doesn't that look like Play-Doh or something? Looks like Donald Trump's hair. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in 20 years when it's white. Oh, we love Donald Trump. Um, so <laughs> Teresa's like, speak for yourself. <laughs> no, I mean it. I'm not. I'm thinking of Fifth Amendment on this one, hey. guys. Okay? <laughs> That's the inside of one. Oh, the inside of it? Yeah, that was the inside. So is it is it delectable? Is it, I mean... Uh, apparently, yeah, there's, there's, there are, um, they, there are, are uh, recipes with lion's mane mushrooms. That one looks odd. Okay, good find. Yeah. Teresa, what were you saying? I'm sorry. I just thought I'd play the Fifth Amendment. Oh, she's talking about right, what, what do we okay, have next? Um, you're looking up the Pan Am Clipper. Is it in here? It should be. So, guys, I'm asking the chat. Do you remember Pan Am having an airplane that landed on water and had these amenities, features? I don't remember this. What? That's, that's like a diagram. There, like, there was a full-on restaurant inside this airplane. Um, the seats turned into bunk beds. That's what we're looking at here. What? Um, no. Where did you find that at? There, there was like, zoom in, Brian. Yeah. There was like a what? makeup table. There was like a sitting room. You had your own room inside this airplane. It was like, it was like a train, what? but you're in the air on an airplane that landed in this, in, in water. Uh, oh. So I'm asking, do you guys remember Pan Am having airplanes like this? No. No. no that's... Wow. I've never what? seen that before. Okay, so the next is by Retconned. Um, I am not a crook or I... I'm not a crook. What do you remember? We're asking the audience. There's a folder, Brian. I remember um, I am not a crook. Just like that. I am not. not I'm, I'm not. Crook. And it's, I'm not a crook now. And this is I'm all not, residue of, I'm I am crook. not a crook. What so who mean? actually said it? Who's, who's the, who said the quote? Oh, oh, this is, this is a quote by, um, uh, Richard Nixon about Watergate. Watergate. Oh, what? Ret, Retcon made a video on it, so I'm giving them the credit. This reminds um, me of Gorbachev, tear down, tear down that wall. And now it's tear down this wall. Yeah. I'm not a crook. What do you remember? I remember him stressing, I am not a crook. Or there's also double dollar sign residue there. Double do Wow, that's a dual right there, dual residue. Yeah. The Watergate scandal. And if you scroll down, it says, I am not a crook. I am not a crook. What do you remember, Brian? Do you remember I am not or I'm not? I don't know, man. I don't know on that one. I, I don't. I don't remember that. Uh, My dad would know. I am not a crook. I mean, it's everywhere. I am not. Not. I'm not. I'm not. It's too casual. No, it is. You're right. He would have stressed it. Yeah. I am not a crook. So I like how you put this together, Sandy. Thank you for doing that. It's just, it's easier to present when you have it all on a folder. Yeah, it, it, it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. It makes it go smoother. All right, so what do we have next? Okay, so That's I'm curious one. to see what the chat thinks on that one, too. Um, a, Anonymous made a video. I mean, I don't know if they're the ones who found it, but they're the ones that I found it out about it from. 
on a curiouser and curiouser video, Anonymous gave them the tip that Girardelli had changed. So look for the Girardelli folder. Yeah, it was it was totally. This is huge for me now. It's Girardelli. Girardelli, yeah. No, it's it was Girardelli. So we have residue, lots of residue. Yeah, bar bar from Girardelli and eighty six percent Keiko. So, chat. Do you remember Girardelli, like on the top, how it is now, or Girardelli? That's how I, on the bottom is how I remember it. It's G H I R A D E L L I. That's what we remember. But now it's got an extra R in the middle. And it looks too long. It does. It looks too long. But there's a ton of residue. Yeah, it was totally Girardelli. This is overstock.com. Overstock remembers Girardelli. Yeah, they remember Girardelli. More I overstock. Bet we, I, bet, I bet we could, go, we could call a Coles and ask them. Yeah, they would probably remember Girardelli too, because uh, this is, I think this. If you scroll up, I mean, I was looking for reputable places. You know what I'm saying? Like, this yeah, is uh, Teresa Gira, found Gira. this on Yelp. Yelp remembers Girardelli. Yep. Girardelli over it here. Says, yeah, but if you scroll down at the bottom, it says Girardelli. Girardelli chocolate sign. What? That, yeah. that makes no sense. No. Krispy Kreme remembers Girardelli. Yeah, notice the long K. Over it, it um, intercepts. Like the yeah, you see yeah, the. I don't remember that long K. Like I don't that. either. I don't either. You're not alone on that. Girardelli brownies. Yeah. Those look good. This is Girardelli Street. <laughs> <laughs> Girardelli Road, Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's like they put things in here. There. Oh wow, Girardelli. Chocolate, chocolate factory, factory. Mm -hmm. San Francisco. Good job. And now it's Girard Deli. Yeah, that's so weird. All right, that's a good one. That's probably the, one of the biggest ones of the night. What else we got? Okay, so next we have um, Recall Vector. You're looking yep. for somewhere over the rainbow or over the rainbow folder. Do you remember the song being called Somewhere Over the Rainbow or just Over the Rainbow? We're asking the chat this. Brian, what do you remember? I remember Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So do I. How about you, Teresa? Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Love Same the movie. So watch any time it's growing up. So we're any unanimous. Time. It was Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So I'm asking the chat, Somewhere what do you remember? Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Now here, zoom in on that. The best of, like the name of his album here. Oh, man. There's a change. Hey, hey he, he's good. Wasn't he in that movie Shallow Hal? And he played no. the ukulele? Did he? Was he in there? I didn't I Yeah, remember. he was at the end of the movie, I think, playing. He was playing a song in the oh. ukulele. Well, some of his, in this in this folder, one of his albums says Over the Rainbow, and the other one says Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Somewhere so Over the Rainbow. So they can see that. That just yeah. says Over the Rainbow. Over like the, the Rainbow. The previous one. The previous one said somewhere over in, the rainbow. I think it says somewhere over the rainbow if you zoom in. Because I can't see that. It's too far away. Yeah, I know. But that, the name of the actual song is now Over the Rainbow. But if you look at the top, it says somewhere over the rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow, right. That's a good one. And Recall Vector found this one? Recall Vector, yeah. Yeah, Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Judy Garland. So yeah. Judy Garland wrote it. And now it's changed to Over the Rainbow. Doesn't yeah. make any sense. It doesn't. There's somewhere over the rainbow. There's a lot of residue for this. Somewhere over the rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow. And if you never heard his version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, guys, you should totally check it out. It's just so relaxing and nice. It is, yeah. There we go. There's another album cover where it says Somewhere, somewhere Over the Rainbow. rainbow. Mm-hmm. I can't pronounce his last name. His first name is Israel. Israel. Somewhere over the rainbow, mandolin tab. He died a couple years ago, guys. He died. Yeah, he did. He died. Yeah, it was very this sad. This one says over the rainbow. Yep. That's how it is now. Somewhere over the rainbow. I mean, there's right. just so much residue for this. I know. Thank you. Oh, good, and, good job, and, guys. And now we're going to... We 
What's the with that one? We have fun with that one. Okay, so the, the one with the Tin Man. Go to that folder right next to it. Okay. So we're going to lead into anybody. Do you remember this theme park in North Carolina? The Wizard this of Oz theme, theme park. No. Yeah. This theme park was opened in the 70s. It closed down, and then they reopened it for one day recently. I think in 2016 or something. They opened it for one day. I don't remember ever hearing about this theme park. I would have wanted to go. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's like it's like Disney level. Like, this is amazing. It's like being on the set of a movie. And they had the yellow brick road all through there. Yeah. I can't well, believe they restored it for one day. No, it doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. So, I wanted to follow leave the yellow this. brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. To North Carolina. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. And you live in the state, Brian, where this is. Yeah. I'm right here in the state. I might as well see it. At some, I don't know. So now we're going to Bam Bam. You're looking up Bam Bam. One yeah, Bam Bam. There it is. Cocoa Pebbles, Brian. Yeah, I remember. Rich uh, Fasanic found this change. He has a green club now. No. Looks like he's holding a big pickle. Let me see, Bam Bam. Yeah, it's not the way it is in this reality. Yeah. Did his name change too? Yeah, it's Bam Bam with two M's now. No way. But I don't know if he was just see like some of them are green and some of them are brown. I only remember brown. I don't remember him having a green club. I don't either. Especially not neon green like on Cocoa Pebbles. So Bam Bam has two M's. Actually yeah. four, four M's now. And a dash. Dash, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> yeah, Teresa found all this residue. Flintstones, you know, just make sure you guys know it's Flint Stone with two T's. In case that changes again. There's yeah. Bam Bam with a brown residue. Yep. That was a fun one to do, Brian. I actually, I could have went all, I could have went all night looking for him to do on that one, but I don't know when to stop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's in the process of changing or not, but all right. What's yeah. next? Um, we're almost to the end. Um, oh. we're gonna, Shannon Doherty. Yes. There's only one more effect after this one, so you're going to the Shannon Doherty um, folder. Shannon Doherty. It's just the residue that we found of her being Shannon with an O instead of Shannon with an A. Her name is now spelled S H A N E N. Wait, how many? Hey, Candy, Candy, can I say something real quick? Yeah. You I've watched questions. her for many years on 90210 and also charmed the series. I watched all the seasons that she was on. And it's always been S H A N N O N, never an E in there, and that's all I know for sure. I'm not 100. percent Well, how is it now? It's S H A N N E N. E N. Oh, oh, with an E. Dang, S H A N N E N is her name now. No, it was wrong. Yeah, big time wrong. Like I said, big charm fans. There, I got all their books. I collect them, the paperback books. And uh -huh. I didn't even I didn't even know she had cancer until we were looking for this residue. It was very it, well. It, she kind of talked about it. And she shaved her head. Um, it did come out. A lot of people weren't really paying attention to it, but it was very sad. She literally shaved her old head because she kept losing her hair. It's very sad. I kind of cried when I watched it. Yeah. Well, and, and to me, Sarah Michelle Geller's name changed too. I think we talked about this. That it used to be uh -huh. G E L L E R. And now it's it, AR. Yeah. Okay, that's it for that album. So what's next? The last one. Now, before you even show it, don't even go anywhere yet. Okay. We're asking the chat. Toucan Sam, his beak. 
Do you remember the colors being either red and orange, uh, yellow and blue, uh, yellow? All right. Basically, do you remember, yes or no, do you remember pink being in his beak? No. Heck no. Like, <laughs> like straight up pink. So you're going to, if you want to look up Toucan Sam real quick before you go to the album to show people what he looks like. Oh. Like Google it just so you can see like real time Toucan Sam's beak. Right. Toucan, no freaking way. It's straight uh, up pink and red. I don't remember yeah, the pink. It was not pink for me. Yeah, let's look at it closer. Okay, so the bird is blue. He's got dark blue feathers. Mm -hmm. Mostly blue. He's got a white trim down his tummy. He's got a yellow beak. And the red, he's got like a red stripe that points to his eyes. Yes, I remember that. Right, I remember that too. Red right here, okay? And then, and the then pink stripe. Pink. pink right here. And then, and then the feathers black. on his tail match. Black. Red, yellow, and pink. Red, yellow, pink on his feathers. So yeah. tell me if you guys remember that. I don't uh, remember. I remember blue and I remember red and orange. So if you want to go to the um, residue. The folder in the uh, Flickr album. Yep. I have a ton of residue of it. Of the red and the yep. orange. Because I think there was a change. I think in this in the early 80s and the late 70s, there was orange and red. And then oh, they okay. added blue, too. Right. Yeah, you may have to zoom in for people because it's hard spelled to see wrong too. You know, you know, You know, fruit is spelled F-R-U-I-T. Yeah. But yeah. look at the tail. Oh, wait. Zoom in on that one again. See the blue ta the blue feather? Yeah, the blue feather, yeah. I'll yeah. Which is now pink. Mm-hmm. All right, he's got blue in his beak there. Yeah, there's there's like a blue or purple color and the red. That was someone definitely coloring it. Definitely not pink there. Uh -uh. Oh, what this is, is this? Red and yellow, just no pink. Legos? Legos telling you how to make Toucan Sam. All right. He's got red, red and yellow, yellow there. That's not red pink. It's definitely red. It's just faded. Not pink. Not pink. That's also red and orange. It's just, it looks pink because it's faded. It's an old shirt. There's red and yellow. Yep. Red and yellow. They have his beak orange. orange and red and yellow. And this is purple on That's his. That's purple. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be pink, though. I think that, that was my proof of the pink. Okay. All right, here's blue. Blue and orange. That has white in it. I just think they forgot to color it. Yeah, probably. I wasn't supposed to add oh. that one. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. That one has green. There's all different yeah. colors. But the thing yeah. is, I remember the blue and I remember the red and orange. I don't remember pink. For me, there was no pink. I just wanted to present different options to spark people's memories. I don't remember pink at all. Well, that's, that's about it, folks. Is that everything, Sandy and Teresa? Do you have anything else to add? Do you have anything else, Sandy? Those are, those are all great finds. I don't. Teresa, do you? Which one is the heaviest hitting effect for you tonight, uh, Teresa, out of all these? That's a good question. Well, you love chocolate, don't you? Yeah, they're probably the Aldi ones. Well, guys, that about wraps it up. Everybody have a great Mandela Effect night, and God bless, and have a great week. Thanks for joining us. We got trouble, not us. That's the name of the song, and I'm Steve LeBeau, trapped inside your radio, the guy who really cares about you. I mean, who else would sit in this little box every day just to play music for you? Well, it's time to reach into the old mailbag here. Got a letter from the me up, Scotty. Hey, what's up, everyone? I found some proof slash evidence, or residue, as many would call it, of 
Tweedledee and Tweedledum, how we all remember, having propellers on their heads, not flags. You can see it right there. It's very plain, very obvious, and matches our memories. So I remember it that way, my parents remember it that way, and many of you remember it that way. So this is found on The Simpsons Season 28, Episode 11, and I've seen this on Vudu. I had to take a picture and make a video about it. So hopefully many of you see this and it jogs your memory and, and matches your memories. I'm going to share this with Brian McFarlane and Teresa Lynch of uh, Brian McFarlane's crew. And I'm going to share this with them as well. So feel free to share this as proof slash evidence or residue. So much love and peace. Thank you for watching. Let's keep hunting for ME residue. Peace. Bye.